What's going on YouTube? I got my uh, cut Lexan sheet here and I bought some tint for it. I want to do a test. I want to see if this Lexan will actually hold some tint on it. So as you can see right here, I already got my sheet cut and it's just barely on each edge right there and I already wet the backside so it'll you know stay nice and even now I'm gonna see if I can apply it and uh, see what happens so hang in there with me I'm gonna get this done And as you can see, I got the cheapest stuff that was just laying around. So this is not a professional job by any means. I got this crappy Bondo blade and this one, which is rubber, which likes to stick the tent, but you know, whatever. Do with what you got. By the way, I think it's worth mentioning that uh, this is my first time ever tinting after watching a ton of videos on YouTube on how to apply tint. This is a tint that I got off of Amazon. It's a cheap ceramic tint. Um, this is no way, shape, or form intended to be a professional installation video. This is just me, a regular DIYer out of their garage with junk they got around the house just to give you confidence that you could do this if all goes well so I'm gonna keep getting doing this getting this done right here and I'll get back with you I'll be right back. I don't think I put enough soap. I, uh, I put like two drops of Dawn in like that much water, but apparently it's not enough. I'll be back. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, so it needs like six drops of foam. I think this was from Target. Half full. That's what I'm using. I can't So far this is probably the hardest part is getting it lined up. You're probably gonna have to run the blade around it uh, a couple times. Clean up the edge. Let's, let's see what we got. Honestly, this isn't terrible. I mean, for our first time, it's just going in the back of my truck shell, which uh, I have a ton of videos on. I'm redoing it, um, replacing all the windows with polycarbonate, and uh, it's uh, on a eight, uh, 
sorry, a 1986 El Camino. But yeah, not too shabby for a first time DIY right here. I kid you not, I have never done this before. I'm not joking. I mean, you could probably tell, honestly, if you go watch a professional tent person and then watch this again, you'll see, I'm no pro. Anyways, subscribe, hit the like button, all that fun YouTube stuff, and tune in for the next part of this, because this is going in the back door. This is quarter inch thick Lexan. If you throw a brick at it, it'll bounce right off. Anyways, see you in the next one. Later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, don't click off the video yet. Got a couple more things I want to talk about. First of all, when you're taking the tent and you're putting it on whatever you're putting it on, whether it's Lexan or a window, um, use a ton of... As I was saying before the camera so rudely died on me, um, yeah, when you're doing your tent, use a ton of soap. Just pretty much just, I don't know, whatever soap you're using, use a bunch of it. Because the whole point of soap is to get whatever it is to slide so you don't got to mess with it so much. For me, you saw me struggle. Don't struggle like me. Do it right. The next thing is get a spray bottle that actually has like a wide spray pattern or one that you can pump it up and then just pull a trigger and it just shoots. That would probably be the easiest way. Uh, number three is that when you have your material down, make sure that you clean the heck out of the surface. Like don't be afraid of water. I was afraid of water. I was like, no, there's no way this is going to like push out all the soap and the suds. Like I'm going to have something stuck. That's not a problem. That's what I thought. It's not true. Don't worry about it. What you're worried about is having contaminants underneath the um, underneath the tent because that's actually going to show up and make those little tiny bubbles that you are not going to like later on. I got a bunch of them, and it's because I was afraid of water. Don't be afraid of water like me. And number four, I'd say it's kind of difficult to separate the tent from the backing so that you can expose the adhesive. So what I'd say is go ahead and cut off a couple strips and practice. Practice before the real deal because you don't want to mess up on the real deal because that's just going to suck. I messed up on the real deal and since it's Lexan, I'm not sure how it's going to come off. That's probably a far, far, far in the future video if the, um, if the cheap tint, like that little, the adhesive fails, then I'll have to take it off. I'll have to redo it because it is the back window. I still got to see out of the thing. So, and tip number five, have fun. Don't stress. It's pretty simple. It's not that hard. You're going to have a good time if you get it right. And I'd say, honestly, the more you relax, the better job you're going to do anyway. So until next time on MFM, you're not living unless you're giving.